So unlike True Love that lasts forever, I had to change the tint in the Honda Jazz because it was already wrinkling. Any good buyer should do, we should all do our research. So when I was researching on the net, I found out that in the past 10 years, there's been a lot of new technologies for tint. And so like during my search, I came across one of the best tints that I found in the internet was Aztec USA. You know, it having the word USA, I thought that, okay, it's in the US, I don't think they have it here. But Lord and behold, it's actually available here in the Philippines through Hazard Boy. So I checked their Facebook page. I see they did their installation. We had like uh, like most of the Aztec series line up. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. So like the first question is like, why do we even need tint? For starters, tint gives like more heat rejection than regular glass. So when you install tint in a car, not only does it reject heat from coming in, making it cooler inside, it also protects the interior. And especially for those who are using, uh, those who have leather seats, it prevents UV rays from coming in, which prevents fading of the leather. So that alone is like a big advantage of having tint in the car. Another feature of tint is that it reduces glare, especially the good tints out there. So just like the S-Tech here, it re actually reduces the glare coming from the sun. And you know, when you're driving like in the afternoon, when it's high noon, it makes some big of a difference. Trust me on this. So another reason why you want to install tint in the car is because since it reduces the heat inside, which therefore you'll probably use less of the aircon or use it at the lower rate, it actually makes the air compressor in your car last longer. And believe me, I know about air compressors. I had to change the air compressor in this car because like, with, it was always on the max. But you know, with good tint like Aztec, I can now, instead of putting it on max, I can uh, put it somewhere in the middle now. Another reason why you should install tint is it's actually a safety feature in case of an accident. What do I mean? So in an accident, yeah, the this one won't shatter the front the front glass, but it's actually the side glass that will shatter. That's but when you have tint, it actually contains the glass shards in case of like of a side impact or an impact that the glass breaks. Without tint, that's kind of like having a grenade explode in front of you. But when you have tint, it holds on to those shards. So this last benefit, and which is really important for me, is people ask me, Nick, why do you go for lighter tints? Why don't you go for like the dark tints? Don't dark tints give like the best heat rejection? There is some truth to that, but with the latest technologies in tint, the darkness of the tint doesn't necessarily dictate the heat projection. So what I got here is the Smart Series 35 and 45. So there's like a little tint to it. As you can see, it's like on the like darker side because I drive this more in the morning. It is a lot clearer than the really dark tints out there. And it still gives the same amount or even more heat rejection than those dark tints. So me personally, I like lighter tints because it gives you better view of the road day and night. You know, I, I know some people are out there, Nick's dark tints are good for privacy and you know, like if you have stuff inside. For me, one, your thing shouldn't be laid outside in the car. And two, you can have the darkest tint, but it's just all of a matter of going like this and sinking your head into the car. Then you can see what's inside. The tint will not really save you. For me personally, I suggest getting tint that allows you to see better day and night. So just to show that like the numbers are the same. So whatever's gonna happen in the left, is gonna happen on the right also. So yeah, there's a temperature sensor down below that will register the temperature which passes through whatever glass is gonna be in it. And then also solar heat reduction. I think it's doing this when you're seeing a while. Yeah, it's a computation of um, the wavelength and uh, the uh, environmental uh, temperature, which is a more accurate way to measure heat rejection in the TSER. Okay. So that's total solar energy rejection. Okay, so that's yeah. the one that this is measuring. Yeah. Uh, what I'm installing on my Jazz is actually the, the mid end variant of the thing. So the Smart 35? Yes. That's the, that's the mid. The mid level. Okay, just to show you like the difference between this one and let's start with the the one without any. Uh, so okay, so let's put this in. Clear. This is a clear. Uh -huh. This is the one with the smart thirty five. Okay. So it starts to compute already the solar heat reduction of with no tint twenty two point four percent, 
with the Smart 35, it's 75.5 percent. Yeah, so like uh, contrary to popular belief, like actually having glass alone, there's already some level of uh, solar heat rejection. Not much, but there is already. So the machine stopped, and then so we got our numbers. Yeah. So we put the Smart 35 pin. It's 35.3 degrees Celsius, which yeah, it sounds hot. But then when you compare it to no tin, that's 39.6. That's like 4.3 degrees more. That's like the difference between like a human not having fever and a human having high fever, yes. as in like critical condition. And but look at like more than like the feeling of the heat. Look at the solar heat reduction from 22.5 all the way up to 75.5. That's a big difference. We have a, another brand, you can't say what brand, but we have another brand of tin. And it's, this is the usually commonly bought one. So you can see how dark it is. Like it's really dark at night, it's probably gonna be pitch black. That's a 0.5 BLT, so it's super black. Okay, and then now we have uh, here the next the, 70. Yeah, it is STEX top of the line tint. And like from what I'm seeing, it's almost as close as clear. So, just to show you that the darker the tint doesn't necessarily mean better heat rejection and then better uh, temperature output. So, we put these two together. And as I've seen a while ago, like left and right will get the same, will give the same heat output. There's no trickery here. Okay, let's start the tip. Oh, okay, so let's start off. It's already showing the solar heat reduction. This one's 80, this one's 88. But remember, this one's like the darkest. This one is like close to clear. So let's start. Let's see the temperature. So they're starting out the same, 32. So you can see, like, one's really dark and one's clear. And they have similar results. But the clear one's still the winner. So you can see it 1 degree colder and 88 uh, solar heat reduction. Okay, so then people will be like, Nix, why, why am I going for something like this or like this? over this for me like the most important thing about tin is that it's something that's gonna obstruct your vision so yes. even this one like there's some level of obstruction of vision because it's like a slight uh, hue a slight tint but especially me i drive a lot at night as well if i'm using tint like this like no offense to dark tint but it's hard to drive at night when you have dark tint it's a safety issue as well especially in yeah. the front of the car and it's raining at night yeah oh my god yeah. like i don't want to be stuck with a tint like this i mean the that's a personal uh, personal opinion of mine. Like you can get what tint you want based on your budget. But like like what I said to Lester, like and what I've been doing for like the past few weeks, I've been researching a lot of like tint technologies. And like uh, that's how I came across a uh, Hazard Boy in their Aztec uh, tint because it has like the latest technologies when it comes to tint. The one I'm getting, and then this is the one, the Action Thirty Five. This is the one that the entry level. level one. So let's let's see the difference. And you can see the entry level one versus the mid versus level. the mid level. It's around three degrees difference, and like from the like from no tint, it's it's three degrees away from it. So even the entry level one, I would actually highly recommend it. But for everyone else, even the entry level one, I actually yes. highly suggest it. It's a big, yes. still a big difference. But our best seller um, from. From the from the day we started is the smart series. Ah, oh, really? Yes, the mid level. The mid level. The difference of two thousand five hundred pesos. Ah, that's people, true. Also, people tend to go with the mid the mid level smart series. So now that we did the research and now that we picked what tint we wanted to get, you have to observe on how they install the tint. Because you have to remember, what when you're installing the tint, you're sticking it to glass. So anything and everything between it will get stuck there with it. So you want to make sure that you know the shop's clean, the shop's orderly, and when they install it, you want to make sure that they install it meticulously. Making sure that they keep it as clean as possible. Because that dirt may not mean much now, but as the years go by, that dirt will be the same reason why the tint will wrinkle and like get off. So make sure that when you're having a shop install the tint, that it's done as best as possible. Remember, tint is an investment on the car. So as you can see from the testing of the tint, yeah, the glass alone, has like some level of heat rejection. And then you can see the huge difference of like really good tint and from like the tint I'm getting.
which is a smart series. And you can see also that when we put in a clear tint, the highest end clear tint, and we put in the darkest tint of another brand, you can see, even if it's clear, it actually beats the dark tint because of the technologies it uses. To wrap it up, whether you're buying a new car, whether you're, you have an old car and you're putting tin for the first time, or you're like me, you're replacing tin, when picking car tint, you really want to do your research first. Because from way back then, there's so much new technologies when it comes to car tint. What I nailed down to when I did my research was Estec. So like there are many other brands out there. But what's more important as a buyer is that you have to do your research. And then from there, you can check the prices and compare them. See what fits your budget. And if it doesn't fit your budget or it's close to your budget, you might want to consider getting it as best as possible. Because for something like Tint, it's something which I believe it's a buy once, cry once. You're going to spend it now, but it pays in dividends as long as you have the car. But I promise you, if you do all of that, you're going to make whatever Tint you pick your money's worth.